Hey guys, today we are going to be doing a tech news video, and this is the grand reopening of this series on my channel, as I did do some of these before, but this is my redoing of it, and it's a lot better quality this time. So let's get into the first one. Alright, the first thing that I have is the Amazon release, and just recently, uh, if you look at Amazon.com, they put a new ad on their page uh, saying uh, they ha are having a device unveiling, and it's going to be Wednesday, June 18th in Seattle, and then you can request an invitation. But the main topic of this is that it's probably going to be the Amazon phone as uh, it's been rumored for uh, two years now since or not yeah since 2012 and um, here's a little mock-up of it here on the side but um, also with that they had a video of it and if you watched the video it showed people being impressed by uh, a small device in their hand, and they were kind of moving around as if they were looking at the 3D, which was also rumored for the device. So, overall, that looks pretty good for those rumors. So, anyway, let's move on to the next thing now. The next thing we have is iOS can now scan credit cards and save them, so you can use them online. And then, so you can use this if you don't want to keep on re-entering your credit card data, and you don't want the internet saving your data either, and it will make it much easier to do this. So, that's a pretty cool feature that will be added in iOS 8. Another cool feature that will be added in iOS 8 is keyboard switching from third-party keyboards. Uh, some examples of this include SwiftKey, Swipe, and uh, Flesk, uh, Fleskey, I think it's called. I can't totally tell. But this doesn't exactly... So, like, usually Apple does not allow people to get uh, into their stuff. They leave it quite closed. So this is a new thing for Apple as well because they're actually letting companies get into some of their stuff, like their keyboard settings so that's pretty cool for iOS 8 also one more thing for uh, iDevices, devices the fingerprint reader uh, Apple recently announced that they will be announcing it for third-party use making it uh, much more useful and it will be able to use uh, be used for logging into accounts like banking accounts or stuff like that so that'll be make uh, it that will make it much more useful than it has been in the past. And I think this has been rumored since it came out. But it's cool that it's finally happening. The next thing we have is the AT&T GoPhone plan. Now covers tablets. Uh, you pick up a $10 SIM for the plan. And then it has some supported devices listed here. Those are all the supported devices as of right now. And then the price is $15 for 200, uh, 250 meg, $30 for 3 gigabytes, and $50 for 5 gigabytes. But if you are going to go for the $15 for 250 meg, I would suggest taking a look at the T-Mobile. Uh, they have free 200 megabytes per month on their thing, and you don't even have to set up a credit card on there. So I would take a look at that before you go ahead and do this. And the next thing is Google Street View catches a murder. Uh, it was actually uh, while the it was a prank that happened. They saw the uh, Google Street View car driving past, so they quickly set this up. And then someone actually called the cops on this. So. That was pretty interesting to see. And then next we have the Xbox One controller, which can now be hooked up to the PC. So you can now hit uh, control your games from this. And then there will be a 
link to the video from Austin Evans in the video description uh, so you can see how to do it. And then also we've had a lot of things going on with uh, Luigi Death Stare. So lately quite a few places are making uh, GIFs and videos on this subject and even news reports have had it in there including Fox News which their um, version of this was quite useless uh, it didn't really have any information at all in it and it wasn't a very good news report I don't know why you would put it in a news report but anyway basically so Luigi uh, when someone else gets um, blown up or something, he'll have a death stare. So that's basically what this was. Thanks for watching. If you did enjoy this remake of the news, please let me know in the comments and subscribe and like this video. Uh, it will really help me out. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you did enjoy.